Today, we're doing something special. We're treating ourselves to an extraordinary day of luxury with tea at the Ritz in Place Vendôme, which is home of some of the most luxurious jewelry stores. We're gonna stroll down Rue de Rivoli on our way to Samaritan, which is an extraordinarily luxury department store. And we'll close out the day with a fabulous rooftop restaurant inside the magnificent Cheval Blanc Hotel right at Pont Neuf. So if you're up to share a day of luxury with us, allez, on y va. We're having tea at the Ritz in Place Vendôme, which is class of all class. This is where Princess Diana spent her last night and the decor is stunning. It just reeks of class and we're here to have tea. They have various levels of all-inclusive type of deal. And we're gonna take the Royale because it comes with a cup of champagne and he said rosé champagne, so I was all over that. Cheers. Mm. That is a delicate champagne in a delicate glass. The baba. Baba. Baba, this is a traditional French pastry. Normally, this is infused with rum inside. Today, no alcohol, and this is infused with your different hot drink. And I have this adorable little spoon, this clotted whipped cream. Mm -hmm. It reminds me like a soaked lady finger or something, only it's a lot spongier than a ladyfinger, mm -hmm. but it definitely has the black tea flavoring, and I like it. Ooh, mm. okay. So this little thing is a cake from Nats, and I don't know, I don't really know what it is. He said rum and hazelnut, so let's find out. It's just a very light, easy cake. It's almost like a, like a pound cake. What did he call that? A chocolate shoe? Yeah. And a shoe is a puff. Shoe. Shoe oh, yeah. Inside? Oh, yeah. That is a chocolate cream puff for All sure. Right, this, oh, yeah. This cream puff has my name on it. It's not. Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> There's another one for you. That is a, a dark chocolate. So it's not a very sweet. It's very light, very buttery. Woo. I don't know what this is, but it's sticky. <laughs> I know. A muffin breadstick with hazelnut, a little light bulb. And I'm gonna try my little pecan pie. The question that we often get is, can you eat with your fingers and friends? And the answer is, oui. So here's a funny anecdote about the Ritz. During World War II, all of France was occupied and all of Paris, obviously, and the Ritz was uh, no exception to that. When the Americans arrived through Normandy and were approaching uh, Paris, the Germans knew that this was it. Like they were bailing out and they were moving out. And Ernest Hemingway, that was in Paris at the time in 1944, came in to the Ritz, to the bar with a pistol and declared the bar of the Ritz liberated. Paris wasn't liberated then, but he liberated the uh, the bar of, uh, of the Ritz. French flan. The flan in France, Again, it's not too sweet, but this has a crispy crust that's delightful. It's just very subtle. It makes me want to drink champagne. That is pistachio. Check that out. With the Ritz insignia. I love pistachio. Yeah. I do. And that chocolate is just enough chocolate, but the pistachio is very pronounced. And I like that one. Mm. These pastries and champagne were delicious and delightful, but now it's time for this princess to head over to our next luxury stop, Christmas shopping at Samaritan. When you are in Paris, you can find chocolates and macarons at just about any street corners in Paris. But when you're back home, they are a little bit harder to find. So when Richard Chocolatier approached us to make our own selections of chocolates and macarons, the answer was a resounding yes. So Colleen and I selected our favorite macarons and chocolate. So if you want to treat yourself for the holidays or treat a friend of yours or treat someone that you don't know what to get them, there is a link in the description below where you can buy them online and have them shipped wherever you are. Especially if you're in North America, they ship over there. So treat yourself with amazing 
amazing macarons and chocolate for the holidays. And now, back to the video. We're in Samaritan, which is one of the top expensive luxury department stores in Paris. And what's really cool that they have a lot of little souvenirs here. Is this a hot dog? This oh, is a hot dog. You gotta be kidding me. It's a hot dog. Our daughter told us that she wants this little gadget right here. She wants to get it for herself because it's meaningful like that. But who knew this thing existed? Check it out. That is an individual box for one bottle of champagne made by Smeg. It's just a little fridge. Oh yeah, it's a box. It's not an electric, it's not battery. It's, it's just you chill it and you take it with you. Yes. That thing is amazing. Like that they hung a chandelier for Christmas because this isn't the one that's always here. This is candies, like a candy cane chandelier. <laughs> that's remarkable. It is. One of the things they're known for here is all of the peacocks that are around the perimeter of the top floor. So it's really cool to see them. What is this? Uh, is that the date? Or the price? Holy moly, 1200 bucks for each shoes. That's 2400 I mean, if you're a one-legged woman, it's cheap, but... I'm not a shoe girl. I am built for comfort, not for elegance or speed. And there's some amazing things here, but if you're into shoes, you'll find like the craziest, most fabulous, unique, nobody else is wearing them shoes. I did not realize that Christian Louboutin has his little red bottom sneakers. For 745 euros, you too can have a pair of yeah. Christian Louboutin sneakers. And this is the Dom Perignon section. I don't know about where you live, but where I was in South Florida, we did not have the champagne sections in our department stores. Oh wow, look at that. That's a Gucci, holy moly, like 1900 bucks. That's the watch I want right here. What's the price on it? 45,800 euros, not dollars. I deserve it, Dolly. So now, to close off this amazing day that we had, we're gonna go at the restaurant rooftop. On top of the Samaritaine, it's the Hotel Cheval Blanc, and we're gonna have an exquisite dinner to finish the night in beauty. Allez, on y va. <laughs> Merci. Well, that's awesome. So I didn't know there was gonna be an egg on top of this mushroom tart, which looks fantastic. And then he put some white wine sauce on top of that. So you know this is gonna be messy when I crack that, o that yolk. <laughs> go, go do it. Oh, it's like a, oh boy. It's like oh. a puff, oh, oh, this is gonna be messy. <laughs> no. <laughs> this is messy, oh boy. That's delicate. It has the wildness of a wild mushroom. It has like diversity of flavors. It's just a the oh the the egg and the wine and the the crispiness of the it's like a phyllo dough crust. This is a great appetizer. If this is a uh, a gentle warning of what's coming after that, I'm game. I'm ready to play. I'm gonna put some sauce on top of it right here. Oh. This is really good. It's a very light uh, béarnaise sauce. You take your French fries, you dip them in the mayo and the béarnaise. So I got the scallops and oysters. So there's some oyster, there's a couple of oysters, a couple of scallops, there's a whole bunch of flowers, and I'm not sure what kind of a sauce that is, but I'm gonna take a bite. <laughs> Looks very light and yummy. It does look like Oh, there's it. shallots, I think. That is very light. I think there's some celery in there. That's crunchy. These little bits, I think, are celery. It's a light creamy sauce that might be a white wine sauce, but it's not whiny. It's very refined and delicious. Trying an oyster. An oyster? Yeah, a okay. little piece of oyster, because I just cut it off of there. Uh -huh. Oysters in France are next level. They just, it's not like oysters I've had 
around Florida, around the Panhandle, and just different. And oysters go with champagne. It does, strangely enough. So they just brought us this fabulous menu with where you can get the cheese plate, a pare breast, an il flottante, a beautiful, looks like a fabulous pear tart, like all kinds of stuff. But honestly, Antoine and I had so many sweets at our Ritz tea. I don't think either one of us has any room for dessert tonight. So we might have to come back another day. If you like this video, next I would check out this one on the best street foods for holidays in Paris.